What up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of the CP Podcast. I'm your host, CP, uh, and it's the CP Podcast where we talk about the shit. CP want to talk about uh, chatter, if we will, about the things that CP would like to fucking chatter about. And if you don't want to talk about the shit that I want to talk about, you have to get the fuck on, right? And I brought my crew. That's what I do. To my right, to fight against everything that's right or I'm well, not four. against. Yeah, she's for everything that's right. She so had to throw a, a wrench in it to see if you. She caught it like ding, <laughs> <laughs> ding. Maya is in the building. How are you? I'm doing good. Good. good I cannot good. complain. Um, how's Tony? <sighs> Tony good. Tony good. Okay. All right. Because I always ask about Roman, and I be feeling like, damn, Tony just get left out. It's like mommy and baby, and Tony just out there in the cold, just like making the bacon. You know what I'm saying? It's like, no, man. All right. Now, how's Roman? Roman is fantastic. Really? Willful child. Are you guys ready for the Roman walk series? He's already almost standing up on his own. I feel like walking is like the sequel to the baby. Like, we just had a baby. Then it's like, this fall, walking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and, it, and walking is like a scary movie. Like, no! Get out of there! Do, 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 do. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be a mess. Jordan Peele, rock a bar, baby. Get down. Roman, <laughs> when the wind blow. You know what I'm saying? Jordan called me so we can do a slow motion movie, God damn it. Anyway, and then on the boards, man, we're all black because it's only right, man. Like the Omen. Yeah. They should name you Omar, the Omar Omen. You know what I'm saying? That's, I that's probably like was close. almost named Omar or something like that. For real? Amir, Ahmad. Omar, that's all. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. That. Ooh, ooh, you sound like a swarmer. So look. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, man, how are you today, man? I'm good. I didn't have to do the other podcast today, so I'm nice. Chilling. You're refreshed. Yeah. Good, man. Good, man. Okay. So what? What Maya and I were talking about when we kicked off? I like when we had a little cold open. Sometimes, like we just kind of just be kicking it. Well, we, you know, I went to Michigan State, and. I was telling Maya that I graduated like 12th of my class. And she was like, how can you do that when you're so dumb? And I was like, <laughs> I didn't say that. That's 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 what you said. You were like, how could you how did you achieve 12th in your class? There are geniuses there. And I'm like, oh yeah, you're right. I, I gotta clarify. It was in my college, right? So uh I think it was uh, maybe like 48 or 50. I don't know how many, like it wasn't more no more than 54 kids in that class, but I was killing it. Killing it from the time I stepped into that program, um, which was kind of like a like a, it was digital media arts. So it was everything involving um, this new process of what we have now, which is uh, the independent film person. But this was a major at Michigan State. Mind you, I graduated in 2007. The things that we talked about are coming to fruition right now. Like some of the technology that we discussed and how it could affect the world. And, you know, like it's, like it's out. It's coming out. And watching it come out is like... God damn, like, you know, Michigan State has always been on the precipice of a lot of different um, research, you know, like cloning the first sheep and, mm. you know what I'm saying? It's just, there's a lot of interesting stuff and a you lot of- You weren't in that program. I was not in that program. No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. Say. I would not have been 12. Maya was like, how are you 12? <laughs> if that's the, but I will say this though. She said it's some very prominent people from her college who didn't even graduate, who got far. And what I was explaining to her is that, man, it's like, I honestly feel like a great deal of us are going to need college, right? But sometimes you get what you need and you can go. And there's nothing wrong with really like people frown on not finishing college. But if I get what I need without spending all the money, I can dip and go crazy. Some yeah. people, some people, you know, like I grew up to be a comedian, right? But I was always funny and I was always um, very like creative in, in, in what I did in film. But it took me years to get to the college. I had to pass all these other prerequisites and get accepted to the college and all of that. But by the time I got in there, it was like the social skills that I built up helped me to be, I was like Fresh Prince in that bitch, make a video, all my shit was funny or crazy. You know what I'm saying? And it yeah. was like, you know, people love to do projects with me and, and I just really flourished in it. But it, had I got that two years before I needed all that math and all that bullshit, I could have just got that and got the fuck on. Been making videos, been, you know, I left there, I started doing commercial work. I worked in advertising for 30 months coming nice. out of, you know, undergrad before I became a full-time comedian. But it's like, you know, college is, college shows that you can complete a task and that you can be this part of society. Um, but it doesn't necessarily show how smart you are 
and you are not a um, a community leader just because you graduate college. No. And that's what they try to Not sell it at. Not even close. They damn near sell it like it's the Marine. You can go in there and fight with these books and come out on top with a debt. It's like, bruh, nah. But there are some things that, you know, it's just, uh, you can enrich your experience with a vast network of other people who are looking to uh, be like-minded, young, successful people like yourself and really go crazy in college, right? Like, yeah. my frat brothers, I was like, like the president of like six organizations, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Including my frat, which was a, it is a national, international frat. So that put me on a on a board with a lot of other, you know, like-minded, young, hungry cats like myself from other colleges who we just all know each other still and came up together and it's like, oh man, you know, we 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 have bonded through Kappa, but it's like, I got brothers everywhere, right? And then yeah. it's like other organizations that, you know, and so that is better than me saying I'm a genius, right? Because we Geniuses all- Geniuses can be lonely. But we all trying to go, and, and man, you know, because I was in engineering and I was in uh, uh, veterinary science when I first got there. You talk about lonely. Jesus Christ, that shit was terrible. They man, I saw them put their hand up that Kyle's ass. I was like, all right, cool. So, I, where's my counselor at? Because I gotta get the <laughs> fuck out. I'm not, I'm not fucking up my polo with the. I had a polo on purple with the with, with the with the horse with the real color of the horse with the nigga. Man, I ain't fucking on no polo in no horse's ass or no cow ass. So then I went to engineering. Shout out to all the engineers. A lot of eyebrow dandruff looking motherfuckers over there. You know what I'm saying? I was like, let me get the fuck out of here. It just, you know, it just wasn't my bag. I found what I what what I wanted to do, and I'm still able to use my um my 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 degree to this day. They have to tell kids going in what college is really for, because people think it's for that diploma, yeah. and it's really not. It's and not they have to tell people this is for you to build social skills. Yep. This is for you. They want to see you can finish the program. Exactly. But it's not just finishing the program. It's also, can you get a letter of recommendation for your teachers? Can you use the facilities? Because you're not going to have yeah. access to these facilities again. Can I tell you? Can I tell you something? Mm -hmm. And, and I, I don't want to cut you off because I've been watching episodes and I do that. And I apologize. I don't be wanting to cut you off. Oh, I didn't. I'd just be excited. But, you know, I'm sorry. I, I, I cut you off right there. I didn't notice. Yeah. That's not something I'm like, oh, he cut me off. No, nah, uh... but I'd be cutting you off, man. And now that, that's not a good look. So I got to work on that. But, like... What I learned in college, college is like Grand Theft Auto. Like it really is like the Sims or whatever you want to call it. You can literally go in there and it's like, it's like it, it's like an arcade for life. Like you you go in there and everything is like a very small kind of, you know, version of what the real world is, and you can finesse, like you, you can become a scammer. You could, you know what I'm saying? Like you can do a lot of shit in college. I mean, I really learned how to hustle. I learned how to deal with administrative people, right? Mm. You go to the office. That's just like going to the DMV. You waiting in line. You know, you got to pay your little registration. And I mean, like, you learn a lot of skills without even realizing it. Like, you learn how to live. If you have questions about how to live, don't know what to do after high school, you need to go to college. Or they're going to take your ass to the military and really show your ass how to live. But you, but you playing on hard <laughs> with one life. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, <laughs> it's like you how you want to do it. You know what I'm saying? I think if you and this is what I this is what I think now, that if you don't know what you want to do after high school, get a job for a few years. You think so? Yeah, get a regular job no, and figure I it out. Don't go to college and you don't know what to do. Because really? it costs that, money. Bro, it's that's an easy way for you to get in debt. Yeah, I know. Right, but debt, but see, here's the thing, though. The longest, bro. You're going to be, I mean. It's like, yeah, you're going to be in debt, but it's like, I'd rather be in debt knowing that this is what I want to do rather than I just, because you know, the first two years people talk about it's like, it's just BS, but those two years add up. They do add They're up, but expensive. understand this, bro. I remember when I was in uh, at Michigan State, I lived in Holmes Hall my freshman year, and that's where all of the doctors, like the astronauts and the veterinary people kind of stay. Not astronauts, but astrophysicists. Like they, they could be astronauts, could right? Be. And so um, that's why I used to eat lunch with a lot of African kids, a lot of like um, like Asians. and Those African and, kids are smart as hell. Oh, my God. Yeah. Right? It was this dude named, uh, I think his name was like Bosa. Bosa, if you ever listen, man, hit me up, man. We was talking about going to Africa, man. Bosa was a fucking genius. It was another dude. Damn, I, I forgot his name, but he was an astrophysicist. And we, and this is way back in the day, he was telling us about time travel and how if we could go fast enough, we could, like, we could push some, it was just some shit he was saying, but it was like, 
that was enriching. Like I was sitting there with kids who they knew what they wanted and they showed me shit that I didn't know that I might want. Mm -hmm. And it's nothing wrong with that. Like I'm, I'm a leader. I feel like I'm a leader. I'm never a follower, but at the same time, it's like, damn, if you know, I'm around people putting me up on games that I never even knew about. It's like, oh shit, I didn't know I could be a, I could just be an astronaut right now. He's like, yeah, all the math. Okay, well, I don't want to do that, but still, <laughs> it's like I could just do that. He's like, yeah, bro, you could do, you can do whatever you want to do. Yeah. My little sister got a job coming out of high school. She said she didn't want to follow in my footsteps. I had it all set up. You had a little sister? You never told me you had a little sister. Well, my, you know, my my dad remarried mm -hmm. and then, you know, had my little sister. You know what I'm saying? So I did not know if I you were yeah. only child. Well, I am through. an only child because I, I only live with my mom. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And then he had my little sister when I was like 15. So it was like, oh, so by that time, I was yeah. like, I was already grown and, uh, you know, whatever, pretty much. It's like a, mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I had three years before I was out. Of, I went to state. I was 18. I was gone. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but she could have followed in my footsteps. And then she was like, nah, I just, I, I want to do my own thing. I don't want to be. And I'm like, man. And she got a job. And then, then she was like, dang, I, the job ain't shit. I wish I would have just went to college and you could get a job in college. You, you can know what get I'm a saying? job in college. But I know people who went to college for just one or two years. And they took out student loans and they went to private college. They didn't finish. They still owe those student loans. And then if you're like, well, I took out Pell Grants. So if you use up all your Pell Grants and then you drop out, you still used them up for life. Mm -hmm. So it's like one of those things where I would suggest take a, a year, take a job, and then you can go to college after that. Yeah, but people that age be getting pregnant, then it'd be over. Don't get pregnant. I mean, that's what well, don't be fucking. <laughs> but what you going to do? Pregnant. What you, how you gonna play it? <laughs> don't. How you gonna play it? Sometimes, you, you know, it's like, man, what would you do, baby? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Sha -da -da -da. You feel me? But, you know, whatever is for you is for you. But I think that, you know, uh, college is getting a bad rap. I think that the bad rap that college gets is because of the expectation that everybody put on it like you said like it's this is you do this and you get a job and it's like no nah, you know it's not really it's not really about that you know what i'm saying but it is a gateway to a lot of stuff yeah yeah it's a gateway think, to a lot of stuff i think like what what it really is is that in order to understand the experience of college you got to go that's the other thing about it in order right. for you to understand what it's like you have to experience it which is like you know generally speaking most things in life but it's it's that that barrier to entry for college is a little tougher for people because of how expensive it is, especially nowadays. And that people, it, it definitely would deter people away from it because it's like, I'm not, if you're not sure, then I, like I said, I wouldn't suggest going to college like right away. If mm -hmm. you're unsure of that, cause it is a, it is a way for you to put yourself into a situation when you fin when you get out, they only give you a couple months and they'd be like, all right, man, time to pay up. And then you yeah, have you to gotta pay, you have to pay like for those loans. Yeah. As soon as I graduated, they gave me six months and then they were like, all right, bro. Like the day I graduated, I'm walking across the stage. They already been like, here's your, how your payment plan's mm -hmm. going on. I was like, dang, that's crazy. I ain't need to get to like cross the stage yet. Like, but they're already worrying about like the money part of things and stuff like that. So it kind of makes mm -hmm. people be a little more hesitant, but I, I'm not, I, I'm not knocking college at all. Cause I went and I graduated and I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed my time there. I made a lot of great friends. I've, I got to do things. I got to learn stuff. I got to experience different parts of, you know, the industry that I wanted to get into and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And it is a great way to experience those kind of things and connect and do all that kind of stuff, be away from home. You know, it's a, it is a great experience, but it, for, obviously it's not gonna work for everybody, but that barrier of that money just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. What and I know is, is, is what changes, you know, that's the, the experience is what changes folks, but the money, it can also hinder you when you Can get out you, because right. of what, you know, it'd be like, oh, what degree did you pick? Man, you shouldn't have did that. That's some bullshit. Now you 30, 40 K in down. 30, like, 40 K? I know people who are six figures in debt. Yeah. And that's, degree. that's so crazy. That's crazy. But look, I'm going to tell you like this though. What I'm talking to is, 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 is my people who are trying to be the best college student ever that ever did it. Like, calm the fuck down. Like, bro, look, you know, do your best, but like, Unless you're trying to be a doctor, a lawyer, or some shit like that, it's like, man, go up there and have this practice little life that you can, you know what I'm saying? And 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 grow, man. Like I be looking back at all the stress I had in that fucking library, trying to 
oh my god and this is and it's like man, man who gives a <laughs> fuck about that nobody knows that because nobody tells you that you know yeah. so just like no, just like nobody tells you like hey you know people be like oh you know they tell the young girls and they tell the young boys you know these girls can wait and these boys can wait you know they always say that that's the but, but what they mean is nigga go become a man and then you're not gonna have no problem finding a woman but That's you're not a, but you're not a man. You you just you know niggas be little boys running out here trying to meet their soulmate at eighteen because that's what the fucking world is. Just, you know what I'm saying? It's like, bro, <laughs> it's like like a movie, man. <laughs> you're a kid. You met your wife in college, though. I was twenty two. Twenty two, man. Still, I uh, still young. I'm still I think. young. Yeah, that's still young. Yeah, but you know, which is lucky. A lot of people. It is lucky. That is lucky. Cause a lot of all our friends are like who we came up with are just like you know out of there, and it's like, damn. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So the proximity you know. kind of thing. Well, no, I'm talking about like you know all the couples. You know how you have the couples. You know we all, a bunch of us got married, and I, it's like oh, it didn't last. Not not for a lot of them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know. well, that's rough. And then there are guys who hit thirty and they never it never happened. And then a lot of the girls are married up, or vice versa. Hey man, if you hit thirty and you ain't married, bro, that's it, that's okay too, man. It just makes you more valuable. Keep your shit together, bro. Keep work out. Eat some goddamn vegetables, nigga. Like you gonna have to beat these hoes off you. You know what I'm saying? Stop, stop. You know that. That's a that's a woman conversation. I don't have nobody, and I'm 32. No, it's like the same a lot of, for men a lot and of women. dudes be doing that same too. No, they don't. Yes. Are, are, because cap. the women they want to date are married. People think they're gonna date this 21 year old, Man. and they date. They go on a date with a 21 year old. I'm like, oh, this is not interesting. I wish I married someone my age. Man, look, dog. You better take that bitch. It's like, no, I'm just talking. Don't take her. <laughs> uh, be she honest. wanna be safe. I'm just, <laughs> but no, man, like, man, look, though, it's always gonna be uh uh, you know, y'all just y'all just y'all only around who y'all know. You better get up, get out and get something. Take your at man, please. But well, that's see, it. People don't meet people after right, college. It's right. hard to we to think do? that I think that as a married man. I'm I'm just on the outside looking in, right? And it's like I travel every weekend, and it's like, dog, it's people everywhere. It's like, how the fuck could you be single when? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, no, I was just in, and and, it, and it's like, dog, it's it's people, and I'm like, oh, because people don't go nowhere. They don't go anywhere. They already have the friends they have from childhood, and then you know they're. A lot of times they date their siblings, friends, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Once that gets married out or they move away, college people, high school people, then you can't date at your job anymore. Damn. What are you supposed to date? It's pro that proximity effect, man. Damn. That's really, it's but, really but, real. But no, no. Can I tell you? Stop being a weirdo. Get into your bag. There's always a bitch in your bag. There's always a dude in your bag, a woman a nigga, I don't, I don't want to say a bitch because people are like, who you think? But it's always somebody in your bag. And here's what, what do I you mean. mean by your bag? Okay, all right. You're a you're a you're a you're a zoologist, right? It's like dog. You gotta do dive deep into what the zoologists do, bro. Find you a cold, a cold ass zoologist bitch or a, or a, or a, or a, um or a, a a marine biologist bitch at one of these conferences. You got to go to a conference. You got, but you got to get into your bag. That's where your hose is at. If you a doctor, bro, the, the nurses is your hose. That's true. You everybody know that. If 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 if, if we see a janitor talking to a nurse and you the, the doctor be like what the fuck is she doing? Talking to the goddamn janitor. His hoes is the bitch that work at the front desk and <laughs> the lunch lady. Wait, I wait, wait. You so you would prefer like if somebody if y'all had in working in the same field? Not in the same field, bro. But yes, because I, I'm like 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 minded like nigga pimps fuck with hoes. That's the same field. Pimps and hoes. That's that, that's that's the same, bro. You abuser gotta get somebody abused? that's on your back. You say what? Abuser and abuse. It, Bro, victims and abusers, they go together. The, the drama, the toxicity. You ain't finna get with Oprah and beat that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Like, Oprah, what the? You know what I'm saying? Oprah's be like, nigga, get the You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, dog, everybody. I understand your point. Has their bag. The problem is, you don't like your bag because you don't like yourself. You think you're ugly. So you think all the holes in your bag are ugly and you're trying to rich your way up. Now, now you got this beautiful ass bitch who hates you. You know what I'm saying? She hates your hobbies. 
You know, it's like, dog, you got to learn how to stay in your bag. And it's always somebody in your bag for you. Got to you. shoot the high percentage shots. That's what yeah, I learned. Yeah, it's always you gotta a cold one, You got to know where you stand when it comes to your status. Man, bro, right. And if you want better status or better bitches, you got to get better status. Flat out. And, 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 and women, if you want better men, like, dog, this is what I see. Drea got pregnant by that 21-year-old, right? Mm. And she's what, 40? Damn near 40, 30? 39? She's 30. Yeah, she's right at the end. Guess what? How many 21-year-olds want to fuck 39-year-old women? It's not a lot of 39-year-old women that's bad enough that a 21-year-old dude who's newly rich will want to get her pregnant. If you want that life, you have to be that bitch. Meaning that you got to eat the right way, work out the right way, your body got to... Like, if that's what you want, Stop thinking that you pretty enough. Like, Drea, dog, you, you got to give it to her. She's damn near 40. Look at her. Look at her, dog. She, oh, she has a son the same age as her boyfriend. This hey, is man, a life goal. Hey, 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 hey. It's treacherous. But I'm going to tell you, the, if the roles was reversed, motherfuckers wouldn't really be blinking an eye. If They are now. Now nah, people are much nah, more judgmental. Nah, for sure, yeah. Yeah. No, nah. because they was on Drea's head, but they definitely be on a dude's head. If bro, the case. bro, tell you right now, LeBron and his wife get divorced. I say, like, God forbid. Shout out to LeBron. That's the king. God forbid, right? But let's say LeBron get a divorce. So now he's a 39 year old NBA player, and if his girlfriend was 22, niggas wouldn't blink an eye. What are you? Okay, it has to be a very advanced 22 year old. No, it does not. She got to be bad as fuck, and no, but people gonna be like, oh yeah, low key. She got to be out cold. Like, because that's his bag. Oh, you got to talk to this person. Dog, okay, of course. But I'm talking about, like, that's 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 to him. I'm talking about to us. Mm -hmm. to, the, to, to the people who got an opinion about it. Like, no, she, you, like, oh, she need nothing but to be cold as fuck for everybody to be like, I get it. <laughs> I get it, dog. I get it. LeBron, damn, boy. I mean, shit, because guess what? Why the fuck do LeBron got to settle for a 39-year-old woman when he out there doing shit other 39-year-old niggas can't do? He dunking on 20-year-olds. I mean, and then she's equivalent of dunking on 20-year-olds. No, but but no, you don't, you, don't, you don't understand what I'm saying. It's like, I'm just giving you the reverse of like, that's, that's how like, for a man, well, yeah, for a man to be operating at that young space, you said it, Maya. I'm sorry. You are correct. She is the equivalent <laughs> of dunking on 20 year old bitches. Yeah. Like, like, like flat out, like, we we should not be mad at Drea. We should be mad at fucking Megan the Stallion and all these other young ass bitches who she's killing as a 40 year old woman who pregnant. She's killing them. And it's like, no. Nah. So it's like, yeah, man. Get in your bag because it's always somebody in your bag. It might be a badass 40-year-old bitch in your bag. You be like, oh, wow, look at my bag. Look what I found in my bag. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Like, yeah, zoologists got some good pussy, too. Don't think they don't. It's probably some good, big-titty, nerdy motherfucker. You be like, oh, man, look what I found. Because you worried about bitches at the bar. Nigga, you're a scientist. Yeah. Well, the thing about these certain fields, even when you get older and you go to these conferences, it can be competitive. If there's a pretty girl there, there might be five right, or ten guys what? She lined up. She might not even be looking at, quote unquote, what the average chick is looking at with how fine a nigga is and all that shit. She might be looking at like, you're an astrophysicist and you went where for school? And you did what? And you're like, yeah. Then I also, you know, studying time travel right now. She'd be like, oh my God, what? Bam, you smacking that night. Baddest bitch you ever did ever. Why? Because she's in your bag. She know exactly what you do. Here go the thing, right? As a man, you want to go, and it's going to sound like cheers, you want to go where what's special about you can be celebrated. Mm hmm Right? Like... I met Tony on set. Yeah. And, and what did you see? You was like, man, he's running shit. Tony knows his stuff. Like, he was... I, I've been on set with Tony. Tony's mad confident. He be problem solving. Let's do this with the camera. Like, Tony be knowing shit. If you're a girl who's into that and understands what he knows, then his stock just went up with you. Right? It's famous football players who, because they wear a helmet, girls don't know their face. Mm -hmm. So it's like... They might be around some people who don't know what the fuck going on. And they might just let this nigga walk by, whatever. But a woman who studies football who say, hey, aren't you the lineman 
for the so and so. He be like, yeah. It's like, oh my god, you had eight pancakes last year, and sit. And he's like, oh my god, now it's like it's just meet motherfuckers in your bag, man. That's all. Like, get in your bag and do what you do best, so you can find you somebody over there. Stop trying to get out your lane, bro. And I guarantee you, it's plenty of motherfuckers in your bag that you would love to be fucking around with. There's so many single people, and it's really unfortunate. I was at my rink uh, yesterday, and I was looking over at the rec hockey players, and I was looking at the figure skaters, and I was like, there should be a singles night here so that everybody can just come, and you wear like a a thing that says, you know, Mm -hmm. I'm trying to date, I'm single, so I'm not going to show up, but these people show up. I'm like, you guys could get together. Like, why would a young hockey player not want to to spark up something with a young figure skater right and then they start dating and she's teaching him techniques about how to skate he's his not he's she helping his footwork you know what i'm saying and it's like man that's just a some matches are made that that's a match made in your bag you know what i'm saying that's figure a match made in your bag mm-hmm. anyway okay so before we go farther because i don't know where we got all of this from this all came from college but um so this is what i want to start doing because uh you know some people have asked how can they um, promo on the podcast. Now, like like Nico Kitchen, we have a promo that we're doing with, with Nico today. We're actually going to run the promo back from my birthday because the audio was messed up when we were mm. doing the Zoom a little bit, and I want people to be able to hear it. Every order that you order, you don't get a free uh, a free month supply of the CMOS gummies. The CMOS gummies are where it's at. Yeah, like, yeah, they really, really are good. Um. And yeah, yeah, so you've had a supply now that you guys have used and you guys could really like... Definitely. Tony used them all. Yeah, well, I mean, as he should. <laughs> as he should. I'm telling you, once you pop, the fun don't stop. She might, she might need to get in with Pringles, whatever. Anyway, now, um, so what I'm going to do is because a young lady hit me up like, I want to... Um, can I get some promo on it? And I'm like, well, I told her how much it costs. And she was like, well, you know, I'm a new mom. And I'm like, okay, well, she said, but can I just send you guys some stuff? And I said, yeah, that's cool. She could send us some stuff. And what I feel like we're going to start doing is uh, we're going to start unboxing things on the air, right? And we have our opinion about it. We're not going to do nothing negative about it, right? But we're going to, you know, we're just going to unbox it right here so y'all can see. Now, I believe that these are from me and Maya. Amir, yours are going to come later. But uh, I don't know who's... Let me see... It doesn't say who's for who's for what. Right, but it's okay. Hey, you can open that one if you want to. Sure thing. We're going to see what, what we got. And uh, we also have a P.O. box, so if you want to send stuff, you know, you guys can... Uh, I don't want to put it out here because I want to send a bomb Sweet. to my shit. That looks sweet already. All right. Okay, so this is a medium. He should probably send you a large, right? Yep, so I got the large, so this is all your stuff. I mean, that's all your stuff for medium. All right, so what we got here, and and my, and my fault. This uh, oh, this is dope. This company is called the the Cluttered Mind. Let me see that. Let me see. That. Hold that up. Oh, that's dope. So that says. So that's the thing. Yeah, that's hard. Yeah, that's sweet. See that? Cluttered mind says on the sleeve. A cluttered mind. Now let me show you what I got. This is what I got right here. Look at this one. Look at this one right here. This. <laughs> what's that what's that Beetlejuice Black yeah, Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice hey that's hard hey this is hard it's like a black dude it's like nigga juice <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay hold on hold on hold on so I got more though hold up your next one let's okay. see what you got oh this looks like it's Fresh Prince themed the you said who Fresh Prince themed oh okay oh, I gotta see talking to the mic Tony will be on the YouTube, like, talking to your mic, talking to your mic. Oh, yeah. The, the Fresh, fresh queen. queen. The Fresh of Queen natural of natural hair. Hey! <laughs> I do have natural hair. That's dope. That's dope. Okay, what's this I one? What's really this like one? This. this one looks sweet. Hold on, what's this? Ugh. Ugh. What's this right here? That's really cool. What's that? That's like a galaxy. Wow. Yeah. It's it like, like most deaf. Afrofuturistic. Ah! I like that. I like that. This is sweet. Wow, these images are really, really dope. Ooh, um, 
And oh. then I have oh, a sweatshirt. sweatshirt. I have a sweatshirt too. Let's hold up yours. All right, all right. This is like Christmas morning. I know, right? <laughs> Mary, you gotta get yourself next week. Oh my god. The Bantu knots. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, so yeah, the Bantu knots are dope. Yep. That's how you get that good curl pattern. Yep, that's dope. Okay, let me show you some mine. So this is a hoodie. Ooh, a zip up hoodie. Ooh, a zip up hoodie. And it says the Black, the Black Family, family matters. matters. The Black Family Matters, and it's in the Family Matters font. Bam, cluttered mine on the sleeve. So shout out to cluttered mine. Um, this is that was really, really, really dope. And uh, yeah, so as you can see, and and let me see something real quick. Unboxing cluttered mine. Yeah, yeah unboxing cluttered mine came through. With some pieces. Hold on, let me see. It's a risk because if we open it and we're like, ugh. Yeah, yeah. What's that, brother? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? But take the risk, you know? We'll open yeah. it. People send me stuff and I'm like, I don't know what to do with this, but we'll open on the air. Hold on. And it's all black or mostly black. So, Amir, you can wear it too. Like, I was going to wear it anyway. But you got to get like an extra, extra large. You always wear extra, extra large? No. No? No. Most of these things are, they're old, so they're like old mediums or something like that. So, yeah, this lady's name is Mahogany, and uh, you guys can go to theclutteredmindapparel.com, theclutteredmindapparel.com. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, that's dope, man. Shout out to that lady, man. It's giving up them dope pieces. Amir, yours is coming. She said that it was going to come. Uh, she sent us an email uh, on Thursday and said yours was coming after ours. So, but now we know what, what we got, though. That's dope. That's lit. Now, while we in the mood of talking about, uh, you know, uh, what we got going on, it's, it's great right now to take a word from our sponsor, which is, of course, Nico's Kitchen. Nico's Kitchen is my, is my favorite shop of CMOS. Y'all already know that. And plant-based supplements. Uh, CMOS gel is like nature's secret sauce. The benefits are endless. Nico Kitchen makes every item to order and ships it fresh within five to 10 days. And she said that the shipping has gotten regulated now. So she ran into an influx, but they got through that, which is good for us. It shows that we actually, uh, she said, see peeps, y'all showed up, which is letting me know, uh, you know, like we only really rock with products that we really rock with. So, you know, our, our listeners know that we mean it when we say that shit. So I think that's important. If, if you want to rock with us, rock with us. Anyway, um, so yeah, don't miss out. They're running the promo for my uh for my birthday back for free CMOS gummies at Nico Kitchen Shop with every order. Everyone that used the promo code CP sent me will get a free sample of the CMOS gummies along with a 15% discount on their order starting right now. This offer ends Friday at midnight. That's NicoKitchenShop.com and tell them CP sent me. But 15% off and a free supply of gummies. And I believe it's like a month supply of gummies. So that's hard. Gia. All right. You want to see something weird? You want to see something funny? And I've also been watching Three Body Problem. Oh, yeah? Yeah. How far did you get? I'm on episode four. So they're on level four right now. So they just kind of got basically told everything that's going on. You know what's funny about that? I'm not going to ruin anything. I'm not going to spoil it. Um... The story behind Three Body Problem. So this is Chinese gaming company. This guy is called Lin. They do their names different, but he's 39 years old, was 39 years old. Did he, he turn 40? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. He got the rights to it. He hired this other guy. The other guy was screwing up. So he kind of demoted him or bumped his salary down. Mm -hmm. So that other guy who was screwing up, he was like an associate producer on it. He's an executive producer, poisoned him killed him and he, that guy is now been sentenced to death in china all around the three body problem the show yep wow yeah no it's a really messed up uh story wow man i'm liking the show you know i could tell that it's made by the game of thrones team Look at him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He look like a South Park Asian dude. <laughs> Amir, back me up, please. I know you've seen South Park. Look at him. Don't he look like, don't he look like the creators of South Park made him? They about to have a field day with him in, on the episode. Tony is dying at home right now. <laughs> but he's not here. <laughs> but he's at home right now. He like, looks yeah. like the creators. Oh, oh I poison him. That's what... Ah! 
ah, don't cancel me. I'm just, I'm sorry. It's South Park. It's not me. But he could have saved the guy because that guy was in the hospital for 10 days. They were like, tell us what you poisoned him he with. Like, he's sucking a crybaby right now. Like, so he don't tell. Like, mm, so I don't snitch. I suck a crybaby. <laughs> you can't do the accent. You can't do the I accent. I suck a crybaby. <laughs> oh! Look at that sweet ass jacket he got on. Where you go? You unique low to go to court? That motherfucker's sweet with a little, just like a dance. It's like a button. Oh, shit. Get him off of the Fresh as hell. Hold on. This man got on a, I don't know what the hell he got. It looked like a cardigan on top of a vest. He looked like he rapping sexy red. <laughs> <laughs> with a sugar daddy. <sighs> Booty hole brown. That's, so mess up. Hey, man. Fuck him. Yeah, fuck him. He shouldn't have killed that nigga. That's why I'm roasting him. Yeah, he's a murderer. And that guy that he killed was a 39-year-old self-made billionaire. He even killed that guy. He's killed a billionaire? Damn. So the story... I'm not going to ruin the three-body problem because I think it's really good. So when you finish it, we can we can talk mm -hmm. about it. Um, that's but right now, the fact that they made it to level four and I could see already... I could, like, of course, because it's a show, you, you're going to somewhat deem it feasible because they're showing you how it could play out, right? Mm -hmm. But it's like, um, what I don't understand and I haven't seen yet is why they keep assuming that these alien race of people is coming. When all this crazy shit keep happening to them, they got to be here already. That's the whole point. I'm not going to root for you. I'm not gonna I can't say anything until you finish this uh, season. Damn, season I'm like, no, I can't say killing anything. Them, lighting cigarettes and shit, disappearing off camera. They got to be here already. Mm. I can't say anything. Look at him, though. Meanwhile, look at him. He like he eating a sucker, but the sucker is invisible. Oh, this guy's a jerk. He poisoned four other people, too, but they survived. Who yeah. poisons people? That's such a weird way to kill people. That's a bitch ass way to kill somebody watching them eat. Y'all want some of these Cinnabons? <laughs> Is it like some of these Cinnabons? I feel like it's hard to prove or they wouldn't. They had like him in time. custody and they were like, what did you poison this guy with? And he wouldn't tell them. So that's why the guy died. He could have said at any point in that 10 days. Oh, he wanted him to die then. He wanted him to die because he screwed up the project and got his salary bumped down. Oh, man. Mm. This guy screwed up. Like the boss was being the boss. Maybe he... I don't know what the boss was it looked like. like it, it looked like they were slapping the shit out of him and he still didn't tell. Mm. It, it looked like a lot of slaps. Wait, they have the death penalty over there, so... Yeah, fuck this dude, man. Sweet ass jacket. I want his jacket. And whatever letter that is in front of him looked like a Jordan symbol a little bit at the end. Yeah. It looked like a... Yeah, it looked like lips or some butt cheeks. It's like a, is that a wishbone? It look like it, 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 it look like a Lego ass. Don't like a Lego ass cheeks. Like it'd be on the back of the little Lego's ass. What letter is that? Is that Lego ass? Look at that little ass cheeks. Yeah, yep. He going to jail. He gonna die. Oh well, yeah, but they kill him quick over there. Or, or they kill him quick over there in China. Who's gonna stop him? I mean, they got appeal. Who's gonna stop anybody? Once your ass in there, you in there. Here we have appeals. All this kind of stuff. I put a nigga on death penalty and he wouldn't know what day it'd be. That'd be the coldest shit. It might be today. It might be 26 years from now. You gotta wake up every day and be like, huh? <laughs> All right. And one day we're gonna be everybody go to bed except you. Like, what? No! That's why. Oh, that'd be a crazy ass death penalty. Yeah, it might be cruel and unusual punishment. Mm hmm. But screw this guy. Yeah. That's a good show. Wait till you finish it. Once you once you see what the the thing is, then that's like I get sick. I I will tell the nigga, all right, you gotta play contra, and if you die, your three lives is up. As soon as you die, you can't put the code in. As soon as you die, you die in real life. <laughs> so you might, yeah, hey, you, you, hey, you better play the shit out that. Be a maniac. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, you want to see something funny? Yeah. Yeah. So this uh, shoplifter tried to run from a from a cop on a horseback. Mm -hmm. All right. Whoops. Let me unmute that. Start this again. From the back of a horse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
kind of gay to ride a horse. Gay to ride a horse. That's ridiculous. Look at him bouncing on that bitch. <laughs> Poor horse. <laughs> Look at the horse. Come on, man. Please, man. You got me in traffic and shit. It's <laughs> <laughs> three horse cops now. Just get off the damn horse. The, the, one of the horses bite his head. Trying to do that. Man, these whole ass horses, man. You don't want to train a horse to bite someone's head. Why bite your head? No, nah, I gotta know who head to bite. You gotta have a signal. See, biscuit, bite. Biscuit, bite. Biscuit, bite. <laughs> biscuit, bite. Yeah, mm. so there's, there's that. You ever rid a horse before? Hell no. Nah, I'm a you real never? nigga. I ain't about to bounce my balls on no animal. <laughs> Fuck, I look like bouncing these nuts on a goddamn creature. I walk. Thank you very much. Or uh, uh, a car. Guess I'll get on the bus or something. I've been to get You saw what happened to CeeLo. Pull up what happened to CeeLo. Oh, we watched that. Oh, we the watched other, that. We watched yeah, that yeah he walked in that club. That horse but said. Why are you in the club with a horse? That's just a bad uh, space man, for a horse. Why are you fat anyway? on the horse in the club on the horse being fat on the horse? That horse was like, man, hell no. Nah. Just as a. A reminder to people what happens to CeeLo. <laughs> supposed to bounce my nuts on a goddamn horse. Look at this nigga. This Look is at. animal cruelty. Yeah, it's animal cruelty, man. You know, you know he know full of short ribs and like... oxtails and shit. Oh, that poor horse. It's already like, bro, get off me. And look, it's probably drinks on the floor, slippery. Look at these ghetto ass niggas on the horse. All we got to do is walk in the club. Who was that? Yin Yang Twins? <laughs> 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 they got the Yin Yang Twins and brought that horse. Horse name, huh? That horse is uncomfortable. You yeah, they're uncomfortable. Nigga, who gonna be uncomfortable with a baby dinosaur on their back? <laughs> He's laughing. CeeLo's laughing, though. Yeah, oh, till bam. Come on. That's right. Get that horse out of there. Yeah, get your ass off that nigga, man. Look at CeeLo. He think he a little king. <laughs> he like he on top of a cake right now. Oh, man, CeeLo. Man, I can't even. Because why is this Texas woman stabbed by two small children? This is why I get distracted. Texas woman stabbed by two small children. She know what she did. They, <laughs> this kid's bad as hell. They, they tried to rob her for some of that titty milk. And she didn't want to give it up. It's, it's been a lot of that lately. Kids going crazy. Taking titty milk. They love it. <laughs> they love it. They taking that titty milk. Putting it in their oatmeal. They need it. All right. We should not watch this. It's not good. Uh, that's the stabbing? Yeah, we're not going to. Man, I be going down them rabbit holes, man, on Reddit, man. Seeing people get their shit blasted. Really? Hell yeah. And on Twitter. Twitter got some shit. Twitter's messed up now. Twitter is just porn and killings. Yeah. Twitter yeah. is the black market. Twitter is the black market, man. But I'm going to tell you, man, you know, I was looking at it. It's so much amateur porn out now, man. It's like we are seeing a lot of regular girls' coochies now. Like we never like coochie used to be so majestic and magical. You would never see a coochie on on a daily basis. You would see a coochie like every six to seven months, depending mm -hmm. on how the nineties was going for you. Now, nah, man, these kids, man, coochies on demand. Coochies on demand, man. And who gonna stop them? Well, okay, let me ask you this. If it were the nineties and you were seeing coochies on demand, would you spend as much time as you did? trying to get your game so you could talk to girls, you would just be like, why do I need to talk to girls? I would have never survived. I would have died from masturbation. <laughs> I would have died from like, 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 like they would have found me stuck to something. <laughs> They'd have found me. My mom, I just went to work. What happened? I would be stuck to the fucking, to the, to the radiator. Just in like a, a, a Spider-Man-esque glue. Just, just, just stuck to the radiator. What man? I couldn't have no shit like that. That's crazy, bro. That is, I mean, this just think about what these kids, with these young adults. It's like, dog, they just, it ain't nothing to them. A first date, man, please. It's just certain things that's not going to be how it was, man. It's never going to be how it was. I, yeah. I got these new sunglasses. These bitches hard. I've been wearing them, but I forgot I had them on. So comfortable with they, but they cold, though. 
little little goo ops. They got the little uh, little Cartier little thing on the side. I guess they're trying to be like you know Cartier, but no, just something. You know what I'm saying? Just something. You feel me? <laughs> uh, I had a little gift card. Somebody gave me a gift card for my birthday two last year, and I had some money on it. And I was in Tampa, and then I I spent my gift card. It was a Gucci gift card. Nice. So, TH Comedy said dating is wild. Nah, what is it? It just seems like it's a bunch of freaks. Mm-mm-mm-mm. But they're less. They don't go out as much, but they have all this access to porn. So they have all these kinks, but they're not like sexually active and experienced. They don't know how to connect with people to actually exercise their kinks. So they just, yeah, that's crazy, man. Well, what do you think of this? That people have kinks now that they would never have before because they're exposed to so much more. So now, you know. I think that people are learning about kinks that they didn't know about, like you said. But it's like, it, it, if it's going to be your kink, it's going to be your kink. You not knowing about it is just, it's not your kink yet. Do you think it's, they're exposed to something at like developmental years, like 12, 13, then it's different than if they're exposed to it at like 30? I think that, I don't know why, but I feel like the over-sexualization that's going on is almost like dulling kids from sex. Like, it's like, eh, it's just sex. Anyway, like, that's kind of, it's like, what the fuck? Like, these kids, they don't even want to drive. They don't want to do anything. Like, I, I asked my daughter, like, hey, you ready to get your car when, you know, you got three years, you're going to be driving. And she's like, I don't want to drive. And I was like, well, when I was 12, I'd have been like, give me the fucking car. I would have carjacked a granny like can I get this car, car, car? you know what I'm saying like I wouldn't have did that but I'm just saying like that's that's how bad we, we wanted to get that independence to drive and go and be that was your chance to see some shit yeah it's different and, now and now these kids like no nah, I see everything I know everything I can get postmates I can Uber I'm like fuck I mean it might be safer because you know those 16 to 18 year old drivers are the worst drivers so my uh, Tiffany Alexandra says she read that Gen Z is actually a less sexual uh, generation than previous generation. And I believe that. It's, well, they're less sexually active. Right. But they're not less sexual. They still have, they have probably filthier of minds. Of course. But I'm just saying, like, because it's not a, it's almost not a big deal to them, it feels like. Like, look at the movies that we had back then, like American Pie, where we were like, gotta score, gotta get some, right? Now it's like, gotta get high, gotta get score some drugs. Remember, like, the difference between American Pie and what's the new American Super Pie? Bad. Yeah, so that that's like fifteen years ago though. Right, Super so that bad. was like twenty ten. Yeah, that was old. And that was like bridging the gap where it was, you know, it was kind of like it's just like I mean, and they were still trying to fuck a little bit, I guess. But it's just it's it's different now, man. Like yeah, I Amir, mean, you're I'm saying you're not young, young like that. No, <laughs> you're I, I, I have a, I guess house I have party. House, house party, party that came was out. way way back. No, nah, it's a new house party. There's a new out. house party. Yeah, that came out about two years ago. Is it based on an old one? Yeah, it's kind of like the old one, but like it was like LeBron's house and all that. Uh... And it's like I mean, they wasn't really like you know fuck heavy like it used to be. It just it's just weird. And it's like I, it's that's maybe that's a good thing. It's like they're mature in ways that it's like. Here's I what I know. Here's mature. what I know. No, 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 no. Here's what I know. I had a lot of access to everything that I wanted to have access to growing up. Right. Um, and I and I feel like I'm affected less by it as an adult than some of my friends who didn't really get exposed to the world until they were 20 and 19. And I kind of like have been I, I've been an adult for a long time, I feel like. And it's like after a while, you know, you begin to settle in to being, you know, it's like, you know. I just I just I just think that being sheltered is not necessarily um, a precursor to you being preserved to those things. I think it's just a matter of time. I think they're more sheltered than before because there's less of them being born. So each one of them is more precious. Like I remember when I was, I'm one of four. My mom had four children and then mm-hmm. my, plus my dad. So I'm like actually one of like nine or whatever. But there was like a lot of us. So there's a, you could take the risk. Like, well, let them go play. If something happens to one of them, I got three more kids. It's okay. Damn. But ne- no, but, she, but that's like in the back of your mind, you kind of think that, no, but, don't try to justify no, shit. No, no, no. Maya's like, I don't what's know in the back that. of your mind? 
one of your kids dies. It, was, it wasn't your favorite one. Was it your first one? Was it your last one? One of the ones in the middle. But there's no more middle children anymore. That's another thing is there's less there's less kids. So uh, parents are more helicopter parents. They have more time for it. And that's another the other thing about there's no more middle children. I was a middle child. Now there's yeah. an oldest and a youngest, yeah. if that. Yeah. I think there's a, a middle ground to walk when it comes to completely trying to shelter your kids away from everything and then just having them be wild as fuck too. Like, or just full on mm-hmm. range to just do whatever the hell they want. Like there's a way to, you know, instill discipline without it. Like I got to beat my kids ass. There's a way to, you know, keep them off of, you know, certain sites and stuff like that without trying to restrict them from everything. Like they're going to see things that you might not necessarily want them to see. I and mean, we you have to understand that if you teach them the way to navigate those kind of things, then they have a better chance at it in life. People just want to take it away from them. And then when they figure it out, they don't know what it is. And then they start reacting to it in a way where they have to, you know, the first time they ever experience those things, you got to get in front of those kind of things. And there's a lot of shit to get in front of. But I think more people nowadays just want to stop it entirely. And that's just not how it's going to work. Like you want your kids to, I don't want them to have sex. I don't want them to know about sexuality. I don't want them to know about this, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, you can try to hide that from whatever. But reality is, it's going to pop up. You know, all those things will come up eventually. And it's just a matter of time. And you're racing against the clock because you're trying to keep them from away from it until you feel like you're ready or you don't want to tell them at all. And that's not going to necessarily bring any good if people just need to find a way to find that balance between things. You can't blame society on everything that's going on. These are just the, the facts of what life is. And then you have to be able to balance those kind of things. Like, I think that's what people need to do is just find a middle ground for that. There mm-hmm. is. There is. And there's got to be a middle ground. However, I think there's a difference between them watching like, you know, just regular a guy and a girl going at it versus a furry orgy like you want to keep yeah you want to keep it separate like they don't need to be exposed to that kind of like yeah. really I, if you're a furry and you go to orgies that's respect to you but nevertheless i don't want like a 13 year old seeing that until they get to be like 18 and can put that into context yeah but, but then you can put you that say in the that, context then, for them though because you can put it in the context because uh, we are me and my kid are not discussing the furry orgy together but if they saw it i'm just saying they come oh, yeah, in and be like it's like, like oh no like, don't talk about that and then the thing no, is if their gears start them. running it's like why are you so upset about so this then, it was first time i've seen this so then why are they letting kids be gay then we let they are but that's some, that, but that's isn't that like a sexuality that they shouldn't be exploring or knowing about until like, how do you know you gay if you don't come the in? Kids know they're gay when they're little, yeah, little. Man, you it, think so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've played with some gay kids at kindergarten. <laughs> <laughs> There's like it's a, it's one of those things where like you know because it's funny that people can be like oh I knew they were gay but won't let the person outwardly be gay when they're young. It was like oh the whole time I watched them grow up we knew you was gay but the whole time rejecting them and not. You know, showing like right, you know, it's right, cool. Right. You know it's what like, saying? If y'all knew it, then y'all should have been cooler to yeah. the person, right? And then you know, the other thing is like if 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 coming down to it, if you really look at it, if 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 there really was a choice, if there like people really really had a choice to be gay, and there are all these terrible things happen to people that you know, all the stories that we hear about people who are gay. Why the hell would you? You know what I'm saying? Like it's almost like why the fuck would I choose that if I know it's going to bring me. Such like this is gonna do this to me. Like all the stories I hear about people who have dealt with that and, and people trying to beat it out of them and all this other stupid shit. And it's like, why would I wanna subject myself to these things, these negative things on purpose? Like I willingly went out of my way and was like, I'm gonna do this. And it's like, that's not a good fight, bro. Like it's yeah. really not. Like nobody's gonna choose the 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 hardest path for them to take. I think that women would, if they had the choice a lot more, women would choose to be lesbians because they don't have to deal with dudes. I, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard that. I've yeah. heard that a lot. It, it's just ingrained in you. Like you are what you are. Oh yeah, Dudes it, are it's, pain. bro. It's it's really common. To, I'm surprised you ever heard that. Well, like I, if I could just not mess with niggas, I wouldn't. They, I've heard that yeah. a lot. I might be a lesbian if I could, but I can't. I don't have the choice. Why can't you? Because I'm I'm not that way. It's just like you literally right. just not so interested then, in it. So then, what? because you now that if you're straight, you got to deal with dudes. Man, all I know is if the, if the if 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 the PlayStation had a pussy, I would have been had some PSPs by now. That's why. <laughs> That's why girls don't want to deal with dudes. Hey man, y'all talk too goddamn much sometimes. That's man. why girls don't want to deal We'd with dudes. We'd be like, man, here she go. Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Are you gonna be honest with me if I ask you a question? And you're like, oh. oh. 
You know what? And some of these sugar mama lesbians, they will answer sugar your questions. Sugar mama lesbians? Yeah, hey, they will answer your questions. <laughs> and ain't nothing sugary about the you. Old lady. And they will take care of you better than most dudes. Oh, so there were a few man. chances I was like, man, if I were a lesbian, I'd be taken care of right now. You this mean them, you mean sugar, you mean them sardine mamas. If you want you a sar a sardine mama. This why. This is why. <laughs> You want you a sardine, mama, then go ahead down to the uh, bingo hall and pick you up a sardine <laughs> You're the sugary one. She is the sardine <laughs> Hey, man. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, dog. I don't know what to tell you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we, y'all get on our nerves, too, but we don't be like, man, I... I if I could only fuck with niggas, I would. I like, heard plenty of guys say that. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Because All they're right. like, they like to hang out with their friends, but they need the woman there. God. Hey, hanging like out to... is one thing, but like, come on, dog. Niggas is tripping, bro. Niggas gotta niggas stop saying shit like that, man. Giving, giving Maya ammo. Nah, Maya, come here. I've heard guys say that. So, yeah, my friend who has face blindness... He said if he could only, <laughs> like, man, why, 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 why y'all giving her ammo, man? I used to hang out with all these gay dudes, these bears. These bears bears are the gay dudes who are big and hairy. So they're less twinky. Just dog, FYI. Why is gay people taking all the shit, dog? Bears? Yeah, they're bears. And they had the best times. They didn't have to deal with the so, family. So, so let's, let's get this right. Bears, rainbows, skipping, um... Anything dick shaped, popsicles, hot dogs, suckers. Mm. Um, like dog, we running out of shit to do. They take it all. Damn the bears, dog. Shout out to Chicago, man. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Chicago, oh, man. For Chicago. I play for the bears. <laughs> Go ahead, dog. Go ahead. They anyway. had the most fun. There was just these big masculine dudes. It's just like other big masculine dudes. And they would just drink and drink and go on vacations. And they had the oh, best man. time. I was in Tampa two weeks ago. So uh, shout out to my guy, Will Ghostin, man. He uh, played for the Tampa uh, Bay Buccaneers. Uh, like one of the longest tenured people on the Buccaneers. Crazy. Um, from Detroit. So he, he, he threw a comedy show. We did the comedy show. We went on a promo around the city for the comedy show, like different bars or clubs, you know, giving flyers or whatever, uh, like CP. It was like an sprint. I'm like, what up, though? We went to one spot, but we didn't know it was Pride Week, right? Mm. And so they opened up the van, and they're like, what up? Like, what up? And they're like, hey, y'all don't want to come in here, man. Because, you know, they like, they know Will. Shout out to Will. I don't, I don't think the nigga want to be in there. You know what I'm saying? So he's like, all right, cool. So we looking, and there was an old man in there. I've never seen an old black man twerk. <laughs> I've never in my life. It was such a crazy. I was like, "Wow!" I mean, he was. It was. It was like. It was. It, he was. Some, it was like some sexy red on. We was looking. Look at this old nigga. Was he good? I mean, he was. He, he was. He was dipping in low. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the nigga was dipping in low. You feel me? Like, like Meg the Stallion, Greg. You know what I'm saying? Like Greg the Mechanic. You know what I'm <laughs> We saw some wild shit, man. But, you know, just like everybody, you know, doing their thing, having their fun, man. Like, I think living in your truth is just about, like, we we take for granted the fact that because our truth is a more acceptable, widespread truth, right? We're heterosexual. So that's easy truth to live in, right? But take a second and think about how enjoyable it is for you to enjoy that truth. And then why would you not want everybody else to enjoy that? Oh, yeah. You know what I'm Everyone saying? Everyone should like, live in that That is dope. Like, That's real. That's real. I do get to have a good ass time. I'm out with my family. You know, it's like and everybody needs to just feel that way. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's like, fuck it. Do what you do. You know, do what you do in the doo-doo. You know what I'm saying? You know? I got to say, for heterosexual women, it is not always sunshine and rainbows. I'm a it's bunch It's not. What are y'all talking? Are you fuck? What? I, I'm... I'm talking to my friend just now. She just had a C-section. I had to have a C-section. Uh, this childbirth is no joke. I get that part. Yeah. I get that part. So let me just say this. I do get that part, right? Yeah. But do you understand the perks of being heterosexual as a woman? Understand this. Like, you have a man. 
right? Who people don't realize, like, a lot of times the woman is like the... We let the women be the brains a lot while we be the muscle of the shit. You know, even though we could be the brains, like, you know, it's, it's not like we're not smart, but why compete with your woman? Let her be that, and you could be... But then it becomes like, you know, we are, like, carrying out the duties of the woman. And that's pretty dope if you're a woman. Like, to be like, um, I need you to do me a favor. Go down to the store and get this and all this heavy stuff and bring it. You can't tell a girl to do that. She can be like, bitch, fuck you. You do that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, it's certain shit. We... We we drive all the time. If we, if we all go somewhere, I'm gonna drive. I'm not about to let my woman drive. Like it's fucking treacherous out here. You know, I'm just, on this goddamn freeway, you you sit back, relax, play with the radio, put your make. I'm driving. It's like, and if she want to drive, she can. Right? I'm not gonna make her drive. I'm not gonna assume that she's. No, I'm driving. Like that's you know, and it's like certain shit I see. Like I take the trash out. Like you know. Getting I, like I can I I pay the bills if she needs to not help and she you know if if she don't need to help she needs to do children shit it's like if you have kids and you're with a woman and that kid has two moms first of all who the fuck wants two moms God damn right like mom okay and then mom okay you ever watch the shy and see how Kevin is living here to get the fuck out of here he was like fourteen when he moved out the house whatever anyway. Point I'm, point I'm trying to make is it's like uh it's fun for women to have a man and it's also cool i guess to like 69 all night if you got you a woman and roll around in a big 69 ball roll to the fridge i mean i guess that's cool too but um to each stay on but i'm just letting you know that it's it's, it's a lot of perks in this hetero heterosexuality shit like it's telling trade-offs. telling your kid Wait till I tell your father. Yeah. Is a fucking, it's like, what? But can you imagine telling your kid, wait till your other mother gets home? They'll be like, fuck you and her. You know what I'm saying? What y'all gonna do? Beat the kid with a, with, with a four titty royal rumble? Whatever. Anyway, that's what I'm saying, man. Like, like, don't feel bad for being heterosexual. Like, you know, it's a lot. And as a man, we deal with them attitudes and the mood swings and the emotions because we just want to just deal with stuff so like it's what it is it's what it is but women gotta be like i cannot believe and then we gotta sit there and listen to y'all can't believe even though we we, we can believe but we gotta sit there and act like we you know and it's like, okay y'all gotta have a fit about it then it's over and then we gotta you know it's like dog we go together we go and together you, and you think men don't have attitudes and mood swings absolutely we do because when do. when men have mood swings they shoot up a theater Oh my God! And when women have mood swings, oh they my give you God, the cold shoulder. They so drive their kids difference. into a fucking river. Is what they do when they have a mood swing. They back the camera up is... and say, a, "A man stole my car." And back the guys like, "Oh, don't don't go to the don't don't go to the to the you know." What I'm even saying? even a minor man's mood swing can get the police called by the neighbors. Yup. You are a normal guy. Amir is a normal guy. But you get some of these guys that are even slightly on the angry spectrum. That's different. Okay. I will say this. It is very, very scary to see a man lose his cool. Yes. I will say that. Yeah. Um, Especially if but, you're a woman and it's but, just a man there. But, it's like, but here's the thing. Though. What, what women don't understand is that, is that it's equally scary to see a woman lose her cool, but not for the same reasons. Right? Like... When a man loses his cool for real and loses his shit, it's like Tasmanian devil, right? When when a woman loses her shit, it's just flat out the devil. Like you see, like ha ha, motherfucker, bitch. You do, and then you be like, oh, it's like because there is no physical. It's, it's like a like a like a burst of like bubble emotion. That's 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 just scary for anybody on looking. You know what I'm saying? Like because. For a man, you can kind of get out the way. And, 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 and if you're not in that altercation, just watching it, you be like, ooh, man, he down there fucking some shit up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then, then it'd be fun to watch. But when a woman loses her shit, you be like, oh, I'm going to bed. I don't even want to see this shit. Because that's a scary, that's this etched in your mind forever. Women losing their shit is insane. But we're not going to sit here and have an argument about who can lose their shit the most, right? Because I get it. Everybody can lose their shit. But oh, think- I'm just very lucky that we don't live in that kind of situation. But I grew up around people in like the neighborhood mm. where it was like, oh, the cops are coming on him again. The cops Damn. are coming on them again. Yeah, man. I've been there. I've seen it before. 
I, and we all got neighbors like that. And then you you, you got to go outside and vacuum the top of the car so you can pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? Damn! You know what I'm saying? Hearing all that business. I'm about to go walk the dog, babe. I'll be right back. One Thanksgiving, this is when we and Tony first got together. So I was cooking Thanksgiving up at his house. Mm -hmm. And his neighbors across the street had this big blow up fight. So we saw everything we're doing and we go to the window to watch, right? And my stupid dog, Doyle, I love this dog to death. He starts barking and uh, they look right over and we're all at the window like this. Uh, and they we made eye contact. We all just like went down and stupid Doyle uh, just gave us away. Why were we peeking in the blinds like that? Doyle walked out like, what y'all talking about? Oh, they arguing? Oh, shit. Hey, y'all arguing? <laughs> <laughs> because they were having a huge fight. Uh, They're slamming car doors outside. It was Thanksgiving. You can't peek like that, though. You gotta like, you gotta have the blinds open and kind of be like, you know, what I'm saying like, you gotta no, look we were at like, a specific we were like way. That. You get all in the windows, like, yeah, you asking to get caught. Hey man, I ain't gonna <laughs> lie. People arguing is hilarious, man. You know, it ain't funny when you arguing though. You be mad as fuck. But like, other than that, you be like, man, somebody really getting to it, man. Somebody argue why you the third wheel be the worst. It's like, oh y'all will okay, I don't I'm not here anymore. Just, yeah. <laughs> hey man, let me show some love to the chat too, man. Jabril Builder, Still Waters J, Dex 44, OG, Eric D, Tiffany Alexandra. Uh who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Did I say Dex 44? Dejanay, TH Comedy. What up? What up? What up? What it do? Somebody asked about this hat. You know what's up with this hat? I was in uh, Nordstrom's, right? And I went in there. I was in Tampa. I was going to grab something. I think we was supposed to go on like a boat, but we ended up not going on a boat. But I went and grabbed something just in case we was going to go on a boat. And uh, I saw this hat. And it was like a bunch of them. It was like the goat and, you know, like Cash Cow. And this this, this brand is called The Farm. Right, and it's just mm. farm hats. I just been saying, but I've been seeing them all over TV now. I just bought the hat because I liked it. I didn't know what was going on. Now I see people with them all the time. You know that that's how that's how anything is. But you know, what do you think about this solar eclipse that's going to happen? What is going on? Why are they acting like it's about to end? What, what, like we have solar eclipse all the time. Um, I mean, they say it's historic. Yeah, let's talk about this real quick because because I, I need I need the, the people to be informed. What but, is so special about April eighth's total solar eclipse? Uh, so it's gonna it's gonna cross a lot of the United States, but not here. It's like here an X going over the middle of the. Right. This is how we usually deal with eclipse. We all get our glasses and go outside. Oh, it's an eclipse. Yeah, and people are freaking out. They're like, "Oh, we're gonna see some major like event is happening. Like the government is all in on it." And I'm like, "I don't see that. It just looks like an eclipse to me." Yeah, seeing an eclipse in person is crazy. Like when you're is almost it? in that path of like, uh, I I saw the one that was in 2017, August 2017. Where it, was you at? Uh, I was in Atlanta, okay. but we were we were in the path of totality, but close. And it was like you watching it go over, and then the whole like world it looks like gets darker. Damn. And then it gets lit mm -hmm. up again. It's crazy. It's crazy. Like being in that path of totality has to be nuts to watch it just go from like daytime to night, like pitch black, like nothing. Like it's like it took it took the light, like it was sucking the light out of the sky, and then it went back. Mm. Damn. I mean, it's interesting. I just I just don't understand. But people are freaking out. They're like, Nibiru's gonna come by. There's gonna be a whole and Nibiru is a yeah. the unknown planet. Yeah. Um. You know, there's gonna be all these revelations. People talk about like apocalypse this, apocalypse that. I'm like, so, bro, we've know. had eclipses for right. a, a long time, bro. We always have eclipses. I don't understand what the hell is going on. So it looks like we'll be able to see a little bit of yeah, it. Yeah, it looks like we are going to be able to see a, a nice chunk of 50%. it. 50%. 50%. But yeah, being close to that that full, where it kind of fully goes over, yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. But definitely wear your glasses, bro. It's just not a joke. You need those glasses. Not just any glasses. The damn solar eclipse glasses. That shit will fuck your eyes up for the rest of your life. Man, you know what's crazy, bro? It's funny you say that. I was picking up my daughter yesterday, and me and my, me and my other daughter were in the car. So I was like, man, let's sit back and look at the sky. You know, we got the glass roof. So we're looking, and I'm looking at the sun, and I got my sunglasses on, and I got my UV-protected sunroof, mm -hmm. and my eye starts burning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, what? You need way more protection than that than to look at the sun for a long period of time. 
Yeah, the the sun. It'll literally uh, it'll literally burn an image of the sun in your eyes if you look at it too long. Like you blink and you'll see the sun forever mm. if you look at it for too long. Now people are, people are freaking out. I just don't think it's. I mean, you know, I definitely uh called my water guy and got some water at the house. And that's today. a serpent deity. Yeah, this is all like it's gonna cross over this and. That's like, man, look, dog. Biblical meanings. You can find anything in the Bible. Right. That's a big book. We watched uh, the first 10 minutes of like a, someone was reading the first book, the Genesis. Mm -hmm. This video was 12 hours long, and that's just the first book. God. Just to read it, like, I, I don't think. So for people wondering at home, you're probably going to be fine. So to anybody who bought tickets for my Fort Worth show, the club canceled it. They didn't believe that we were going to sell tickets. Um, <laughs> they were wrong. Uh, they got an overwhelming response of people calling and going to their website trying to get tickets. And like some idiots, they canceled the show because they thought that people weren't going to buy tickets. Our culture is more of a day of, day before type of situation, you know, when, when they're trying to plan their weekend. And so... Um, I had a whole thing planned. We know stuff I was doing with Sid, roasting with Sid and doing all that. It was about to be crazy and they fucked up. And But this club apparently has been doing that a lot. It's a big laugh or whatever it is. They've been canceling a lot of shows from a lot of my friends or a few of my friends. It's like, yeah, I'm, I'm never going back there, but I will be I will be in Fort Worth. I will be in Arlington. Uh, I'm trying to figure out the days right now. So, yeah, man, I was trying to come down there. I mean, I was going to fucking murder that show too. I'm heated. Oh, she says she bought tickets. Yeah. Someone else says they're firing up the CERN machine during the eclipse. I just, did you saw that? We're on a CERN video right now. I'm just watching it. Yeah, well, the thing is, I think they need to use this eclipse to get their te eclipse to get that test. So they're doing a specific ex experiment that requires um, the eclipse. Now, whenever CERN fires up, I'm always like, hmm, is it going to be a black hole? But mm -hmm. we'll see. Get your refund, TH Comedy. I know you. I know you missed the show, but no, they owe you your money back because we never had the show, so they don't know you missed. You know what I'm saying? Ah, uh, trying to keep her money. Yeah, get yeah, your money to keep back. Your little money. Get that little money back before I get pissed. Oh man, this this shit. Look at him. Well, this this is a a conspiracy account, Vegas Star. They yeah. do nothing but conspiracies. I know the guy who runs Vegas Star. Oh, you do? No, I don't. I made that up. Man, you But you believe lie. nothing. You I, but you lie. believe everything the government says. As soon as I all right. I believed you. I know. Then That's you're like, oh, point. I lied. You're too vulnerable. No, I double check. You're gullible. I double check. All right. I don't. I'd be like, yeah, that's what it is. Fact. <laughs> <laughs> Earth is flat. Fuck it. Just found out today. Let's run. <gasps> so what are these solar flares? Can we go to a conspiracy real quick and watch a conspiracy video about what is supposedly supposed to happen? Do um, you want to watch this one? What do you think? <sighs> I don't like his beard. That's got nothing to do with the I bridge know, collapse. He just pissed me off. Oh, oh no, this the... dude? Wait, who's... Wait, that... Oh, okay. I, was gonna say, I don't like his beard. So this guy, we don't like his beard. I don't like his beard. Get him off here. I don't like his beard. <laughs> <laughs> what? His goddamn beard. Let's see. This cat is involved. Yeah, that's who she's talking about. <laughs> Little bitty eyebrows, long this face. I like that. Take, and these are the times that you'll be able to see it. Totality is going to last about four minutes and 35 seconds in some places. Now, compared to the total solar eclipse that we had in 2017, that one lasted about two minutes and 43 seconds in some areas. So we're doubling that time this year. That's why it's something that no one has ever seen before. It's going to last for a long time compared to other total solar eclipses. The last one that was even close to this happened back in the 1800s. In a month, we are going to have two broods of cicadas come up from under the ground. Now, these two broods have not converged in over 200 years. And look at this map. See the light blue and the dark brown right there converging in Illinois? 
Yeah, that's the same spot where our two paths converge as well, Southern Illinois. So yeah, no one on Earth has ever seen an event like coming next month. We are going to have a total solar eclipse that lasts damn near five minutes in some areas. And then we're going to have millions of cicadas that have been underground for either 13 or 18 years all coming up at the same time. And they have not done that in over 200 years. Pause so if this. you are over 200 years what, old. Do y'all know what cicadas are those buds? It's like, da, 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 to make that noise. Yeah. Why the fuck are they waking up though? They uh they they're on like a cycle. They always do that. They go they'll they'll come out and then they'll be gone. And then uh for like yeah, like you were saying 13, 13 years or so. Wow. That's interesting. That's mm-hmm. interesting. You never heard of this case? Emergence period every I've heard five of or them. six years. They're not everywhere, but I know that like specifically I think Maryland was a place where they used to be a lot. So I definitely knew about cicadas growing up. Ooh, I just want to take a fucking pickleball paddle and pop one of them out the air. No. They're huge, bro. I know. Why would you want to crack. do that? What you mean why I want to do that? Fuck them. Crack. Crack. I like, just like like hit one with the forehand. Boom. One with the backhand. Crack. Yeah. Let, let out a let out a, a, a war cry. Boom. Bah. No. Mm, whatever. Y'all don't no. know how to have no fun. Nope. Hitting bugs off the air that fly is one of my good pastimes. Why? What you mean? Why? They're doing their thing and mind their own business. Yeah. What if someone came and well, hit they you? They shouldn't have let me see them. <laughs> Gotta be better than that. Gotta be sneakier than that. If I catch you, I'm swatting the fuck. Pow! Bees, flies come to my house. I like to use the bug of salt, but one of my main sources of appreciation for a fly is a slap one out the air. Feel like a ninja. Sweet as hell. The ball is dead. Oh, I hit flies because they're annoying. I don't want them to lay eggs. Fuck but a that's fly. It. Yeah, and look at these motherfuckers. What you think? What you think they gonna do? They gonna put their dick in your Twinkie? You got to you call the police. There's a hell. There's a fly fucking all the hot dogs on the grill. Biggest bug emergence in centuries. What? Well, that's interesting. That's dope as hell. Ooh, I can't wait to fuck one of them. I don't like the sound they make. And they like peel out that little exoskeleton. Mm-hmm. And it's be like stuck to the thing. They be all crunchy. It won't be over here though. Yeah, we're not. Yeah, they ain't coming to Cali. Wait, are you going to be here? You're going to be here on April 8th. Yeah. Where are you no. going to be at? No, you're leaving. Yeah. Where are you going to oh, be he's at? He's leaving. That's right. He's gone the, next week. Be on the road. Oh shit! What about you? I'm here, but we're not gonna have him, and we're not gonna have Tony. We're not gonna have a lot of people. We're talking about skipping next week. Um. Okay. So why don't we do this then? I'm coming in for that other thing tomorrow. Thursday. Yeah. This is. I mean, Thursday. Right. 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 Thursday. Let's just, let's just try to get an episode in. What do you think? It's possible. I will see what time. So, right. 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 Of course. Yeah. If if, if uh, time permits, but that'd be dope. Yeah. Okay. Did you read that script? That's fine. They didn't we'll send we'll it to deal me. with it. Yeah, they sent it, right? No, I don't think so. Oh. But whatever. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to do my best. I'm going to kill that shit. I don't know if you know how it work, man. What? I kill shit. I was planning on taking them out, dog. Oh, no. Not this lady again. I don't want to hear about that. What happened? No, it was the Diddy's thing. What did it say about Diddy? That's the same lady we were talking about last week. Stern will be starting up again on April 8th, 1904. Aleister Crowley made contact with an entity called a WAS. Mm-hmm. It was this entity that dictated Crowley's book of law. Well, that's interesting. But I don't know what that has to do with the eclipse. Just because it was April 8th, were the stars aligned the same way? Mm-hmm. I don't think like you know, interdimensional beings are like, oh, what's the calendar date? They go by right, what the but stars you think, are aligned. Though, it, but, so, but when you look at stuff like uh, three-body problem, right? Mm-hmm. And you look at the synergy of things lining up and what that means. When they were in level three, <sighs> sorry, everybody. When they were in level three, uh, the three suns lined up and then the gravitational pool changed, mm-hmm. which was interesting. Yeah. So, you know, we do only have very, very short eclipses. We haven't had one of these in a long time. And then our infrastructure wasn't what it is the last time we had an eclipse like this. We didn't have a, a um, the kind of grid that we have now, right? And so 
It's going to be interesting, man. You know. Did you ever read a Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court? No. Mark Twain? No, I have not. I was going to read it. It, 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 it. It's on my table, and I, I, I was eating some eggs. Mark Twain's a funny guy. He was a funny guy. Yeah, Mark, Mark, yeah, 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 yeah. Mark be fooling. And this guy goes back in time, he's Connecticut, and he goes back in time, and he happens to know there's a solar eclipse. So, you know, he's in the court, and he's like, I'm a wizard. And he's like, I know uh, the sun's about to get blacked out. And then it does, and they're like, oh, my God, you must be a magician. Mm-hmm. But that's it. Well, okay. <laughs> it didn't mean anything more than that. It just could use it to trick other people. That's all. Man, ooh, I need to go outside and tell some homeless niggas who don't got no... Uh... Let me talk to y'all, man. Let me talk to y'all. I'm my... My name is Apetheoid, and uh, hmm, I'm about to block the sun. I'm like, nigga, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you did it. We're we going to follow you forever. Anyway, man, what's the deal, Playboy? What's the greeting? He said, first thing he wanted to know was the reason he was dead. More money, more problems. Better believe it, he said. Careful what you wish for, you might receive it, he said. I see, I said. Jealousy, I said. Got the whole industry mad at me, I said. Then B, I said, ho, remind yourself, nobody built like you because you designed yourself. You know what I'm saying? I agree, I said. My one-of-a-kind self gets stoned every day like Jesus did. What he said, I said, has been said before. Just keep doing your thing, he said. Say no more. Mm. You know? It's just bars for your soul, for real. That's Jay-Z, man. I said it last week, but it it just rings so true, man. I can't worry about none of that shit. All this shit gonna be what it's gonna be. We just gotta keep doing our thing. The sun gonna be the sun. The burn gonna be the burn. The sun gonna do what it's gonna do. We just gotta run our race. We we picked this time period to live in. You know, we chose this time period to be physical beings to make an impact. So we're gonna do that, man. We was we've been prepared for everything that we're gonna face. We 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 are prepared for it. Mm. That's what's crazy. We have been prepared for everything that we're going to face. So, you know, knowing that, it's like, man, just keep doing your thing. Always the questions, never the answers. This has been another episode of the CP Podcast. Uh, That's Maya. That's Amir. I'm CP. And uh, yeah, man, we out of here, man. Always the questions and never the goddamn answers. Hashtag ATQ NTA. Mm. Yeah. Don't hashtag CP. I know, man. Look, I tried uh, looking for your Instagram, and it warned me about child porn. It's a lot of other CPs, though. No, I I typed in. No, CP. I know that, but what I'm saying is, like, it's a lot of other things CP could mean, and they just got to go straight to child porn. All the creeps are taking over everything. It's crazy, mm. man. Diddy did this shit.